Thanks for coming back. Now this time of year, right in the middle of the NBA and NHL playoffs, there is a sporting event that may hold more tradition than all the others combined. Trish, here's an interesting fact. Only 12 horses have ever achieved the distinction of Triple Crown Champions. Mm. The first one back in 1919, and the latest was in 2015 after a 37-year drought. I loved watching the Derby a couple of weeks ago. And I know that there are even some Explore Tulsa connections when it comes to horse racing. But there are so many traditions and anecdotes surrounding racing that we called in a local guy who has been a huge fan since he watched Secretariat win the Triple Crown back in 1973. I happened to be in high school um, when Secretariat won the Triple Crown in 1973. I was working my way through high school, earning my gas money and my date money and all that other stuff at a grocery store. You know, and this was in Oklahoma City. Being an athlete, I read Sports Illustrated religiously in, in, the, in the school library. And I began seeing pictures of this horse, Secretariat, in, in Sports Illustrated. And I didn't know a thing about uh, horse racing, but, you know, I read about Secretariat because I was reading Sports Illustrated. Anyway, the Kentucky Derby was coming up one Saturday, and I, I asked my employer, could I have the day off because I wanted to watch the race. And, uh, and I got the day off, watched him win the Kentucky Derby, which is the first leg of the Triple Crown. And then uh, the next race is two weeks later in Maryland, and, and that's the Preakness Stakes. And he won the Preakness Stakes, and I had off again on that Saturday. And so three weeks later is the final leg of the Triple Crown that's called the Belmont Stakes. And I asked off for that Saturday, and, and my employer said, I can't, I can't give you that Saturday off. We've got, got to have you. I'm working away, probably sacking somebody's groceries, as I recall, and I get this tap on the shoulder, and it's, it's my manager saying, hey, uh, I need you to follow me. And so uh, somebody took over a sack in the groceries and I followed my manager and he walks out the front door of the grocery store. And I'm like, where are we going? And he goes, just, just follow me. We walk down to the drugstore and I follow him into the drugstore and we go down the hallway and here's the pharmacist and he's got a 13 inch black and white TV on and they're getting ready to run the Belmont race. And my manager looked at me and said, I, I knew you didn't want to miss this. So uh, I got to see that occur. I watched the Triple Crown and that hooked me on horse racing. I just thought it was a beautiful sport. Love the horses. Uh, love the fact that horses, um, they love to run, they love to win, and they, get, they seem to get enjoyment out of it, and so I just got hooked. Our involvement probably can be summed up in this way. We, we plan every vacation around a racetrack or a horse farm. One, one vacation we might go to uh, Saratoga, New York. The charm of the city of Saratoga Springs is unbelievable. And you go to the racetrack and they, the, the grandstand is still built out of wood. It's like stepping back a hundred years, but it just, it just feels so natural and it, it's, it's really a beautiful setting. We also like to go to uh, horse farms. Lexington, Kentucky is probably the mecca of horse racing in terms of where great horses will be retired and go to stud duty. And uh, there's, there's probably 20 or 30 horse farms in and around Lexington that you can go visit and see horses that you've watched win on the track in retirement. And uh, they will take a horse out of the stall and let you pet them and take your picture. And it's, it's just a really, the industry is very friendly towards uh, people who want to learn more and, and, uh, and enjoy it. They, they cater to that. The memorabilia that I collect tends to be stuff that's got a connection with, with us. So for example, you can see over my shoulder, halters uh, that I've collected. Most of them, not all, but most of them belong to horses we've either seen race or we have petted when we've gone to visit them at a stallion farm. Tulsa's got a pretty rich history in terms of horse racing. We've got some families that are very active in horse racing. The Warren family, uh, you see Warren cl clinics around the Tulsa area. Dr. Zellner, the eye doctor, uh, is very active in horse racing. He, he's got a farm in Glen, uh, well, just south of Glenpool. When you go to Oaklawn, when you go to Hot Springs, Oaklawn racetrack in Hot Springs, he's almost always got some horses racing. So he's, he's very active in the sport. If you, if you can understand some basics, you can understand horse racing and enjoy it. You don't have to even get into the betting part 
to enjoy to enjoy racing as a sport. We're already in the middle of this season's Triple Crown, and it has been some fantastic racing. Thanks to Jay Stevens for giving us a little insight into the intrigue of horse racing. The man is a wealth of information. That he is.